finally, NVIDIA, that company that makes those really great GPUs that everybody on Windows seems to love for gaming, has finally open sourced their Linux kernel modules. Let's go! As of the upload of this video, this was announced and released literally yesterday. This was announced over on the NVIDIA developer blog in a blog post titled, NVIDIA releases open source GPU kernel modules. And this is all great. This is an incredible change, and it's an incredible change in the right direction. However, okay, we need to temper our expectations because while this is a good change, it's not a perfect change. Starting literally right now, the source code is available. So you can go over to the GitHub. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. You can go and download the source code. You can compile the source code. There's a set of instructions on what you actually need to do to compile the source code. And you can start using this kernel module. So this is starting on the R15 driver. More specifically, the 515.43.04 driver. Now, this project is licensed under a dual license. Basically, it's making use of two separate licenses, those being a GPL v2 and a modified MIT license. And when you want to submit any code to the project, you want to go and open up a pull request and get your code added. You will need to go and sign a contributor license agreement. Every single person in here has to go and sign a CLA, regardless of what they're actually doing. A CLA is basically a document to sign away some of your rights to the code. I'll talk about why they're using a CLA in just a bit, but if you just want to go and submit a bug report, this can be done over on the GitHub with their issue page, or you have the option of sending them an email at this address right here, or contacting them over on the NVIDIA developer forums. Now, if you have no interest in compiling the code yourself, NVIDIA has been working with both Canonical and SUSE to make sure that driver packages are available on their respective distros. So right now, there should be packages available. As for other distros, I imagine they will follow along fairly shortly if they haven't already. As for the supported tech, the driver is going to include support for things that you generally expect from NVIDIA. Things like G-Sync, Ray Tracing, OptiX. As for Vulkan, OpenGL, and CUDA, we'll get to those in just a bit. You probably noticed this commit history and notice a slight problem. The fact that there is none. There is two commits in the entire repo. The release of the driver, and then a slight modification to one of the markdown files. So, this is isn't going to be open sourcing the GPU driver history, it's going to be starting from the R15 driver. And you might think that's basically fine. It'll be open sourced from now on. Well, not in the way that you think. Scrolling down a bit, we can see exactly what this repo is going to be. So this repo will mostly function as a snapshot of each driver release. We do not expect to be able to provide revision history for individual changes that were made to NVIDIA's shared code base. There will likely only be one git commit per driver release. We may not be able to reflect individual contributions as separate git commits in the GitHub repository. And finally, because the code here undergoes various processing prior to publishing here, contributions made here require manual merging to be applied to the shared code base. Therefore, large refactoring changes made here may be difficult to merge and accept back into the shared code base. If you have a large refactoring to suggest, please contact us in advance so we can coordinate. What this means is you are not going to see commit history for the changes made to the driver. What this repo is going to be is there's going to be nothing that happens and then a month or however often NVIDIA releases their drivers, there will be a new release tag. Then a month or however long, new release tag and nothing in between. So because of this really weird way of handling the Git repo, there is this really dumb quote over on the NVIDIA developer blog. We are working on a process for acknowledging community contributions. Now let me think. How could you possibly acknowledge the changes that are made in a Git repo? Wouldn't it be nice if there was like a history of changes and it says who made those changes? That doesn't exist though. But being serious though, if they don't want to have an actual Git history, just have a list of everyone who made changes that were inside of that release. That's all you really need. Well, what about GPU support then? Considering this is the R515 driver, you might expect that everything supported by that driver is going to be supported in the open source version as well. That being Maxwell, Pascal, 
Ampere, Turing, and Volta. Basically, the 900 series onwards. So the 20... I want to say 2014 GPU release. That's not the case, though. So this open source driver is only going to support the Turing and later cards. Basically, the 2018 GPU release, that being the 1600 series and onwards. Due to some modifications they made and things they don't want to open source, this driver relies on a system known as GSP. This is the GPU system processor, and the first GPUs to support this are the Turing GPUs. Now, I can't say we are never going to see open source support for these older GPUs, but currently NVIDIA doesn't have any plans to actually do so. These drivers will also support NVIDIA's data center GPUs, but that's not really a space that I care about, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave this link in the description down below. So are they just dropping every single card prior to 2018? Well, no, that's not what they're doing. For the foreseeable future, NVIDIA will continue to support both the proprietary kernel modules and the open kernel modules. The two sets of kernel modules share a lot of code, this being the shared code base they keep talking about. They provide the same interfaces to the user mode driver components like OpenGL, Vulkan, and CUDA, and they will continue to evolve together. Basically, NVIDIA users are going to have three main GPU choices. They'll have the NVIDIA open source, NVIDIA proprietary, both managed by NVIDIA, and then also the community Novo drivers. However, as they say over in the dev blog, the plan eventually is to supplant the closed source driver with the open one. So at some point in the future, it's just going to be the NVIDIA open and then Novo. But at that point, I wouldn't be surprised if people just forget that Novo exists. But here's the thing though, they have this closed and this open version, but sections of the code base are GPLv2. So if someone outside of NVIDIA writes that code, how could they go and make that closed source? Well, that's the point of the CLA. When you are the sole owner of the code, you can do whatever you want with that code base. And the CLA is there, so you sign away your rights to the code and effectively make NVIDIA the owner. Then they can do whatever they want. There's something very important I've barely touched on, that being the user mode components, things like OpenGL, Vulkan, and CUDA support. So while the driver around these things is going to be open source, the support for this functionality is not going to be open. So you're going to have this open source driver, and then your OpenGL or your Vulkan or your CUDA support is going to be a binary blob. And if you want to use these things, which you probably do, it does require the version numbers matching. So if you're using the 515 version of the driver, you'll need the 515 version of Vulkan as well, but that's sort of to be expected. I don't know enough about kernel development to really say this is the case one way or the other, but NVIDIA has stated the current style of development used in their kernel module doesn't fit the style used in the Linux kernel. So right now in the current incarnation of the module, it will not be upstream to Linux. However, they do plan to work with Canonical, Red Hat, and SUSE to make that the case. So at some point in the future, using an NVIDIA card in Linux should basically just be a plug-and-play thing. However, until NVIDIA fully opens their driver with an open development cycle, in the meantime, published source code serves as a reference to help improve the Novo driver. Novo can leverage the same firmware used by the NVIDIA driver, exposing many GPU functionalities such as clock management and thermal management, bringing new features to the Intree Novo driver. This is cool. I am not a lawyer. I cannot say whether the license is fully compatible and what they can and cannot use, but if NVIDIA is saying this, presumably that is the case. Best case scenario for this could have been NVIDIA fully open sourcing their GPU driver history, having an open source dev cycle rather than this like tag release nonsense. But this is what we got. We got this like half fast open source thing where Novo can make use of the code, but you don't really see how we got there. If this is what they were going to do, what I would have preferred is giving a bunch of money and a bunch of developers to the Novo project and really helping that out. Making the Novo drivers basically the main drivers and then letting the proprietary drivers just fade away into obscurity. But we got what we got and it's better than nothing. Now, just because the drivers have been open sourced doesn't mean they have suddenly become good. In fact, in many ways, the drivers are actually worse than the proprietary version. But this doesn't mean they're going to improve like tomorrow or next week or even like six months from now. 
it's going to take time for commits to come in, for problems to be addressed, and I would, if I had to guess, say in maybe a generation or maybe two, that's when the NVIDIA drivers are actually going to be good on Linux. And hopefully by then, that gives NVIDIA enough time to properly open source the project to get people who otherwise wouldn't be interested in helping out to commit code to the project. I know I'm being a downer in this video and stepping on everyone's excitement, but this is inherently a good change. Finally, the module is open source, but this is still just the first step. When NVIDIA takes the full plunge and they go fully open source, that's when I'm going to be excited and that's when everyone else should be as well. But maybe you are excited and this is all you really wanted them to do. Let me know in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, remember to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, to Sterling Barrow, pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.